Welcome to the Brant Phillips Show, the show dedicated to results. Now, here's Brant. Welcome, everybody, to the Brant Phillips Show. Yes, this is the show that helps you create results in your life and in your business. So, the topic and focus of today is hindsight is always 2020. Hindsight is always 2020, my friends. Please, please don't get stuck like I see so many people looking back, looking back rather than looking forward. Yes, looking forward, we don't know what it's the future is going to to tell for us and 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 our vision is not always 2020 looking forward especially as entrepreneurs there's so many times that we are taking steps on somewhat unsolid and shaky ground and uncertainty sometimes moving forward but even moving forward is a sign of power is a sign of confidence and, and because whenever you are looking back, you're just going to continually stay stuck. So this has been on my mind lately because here in Houston, Texas, the time of this recording, we're in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey and the flooding. And it's so easy for me to say that hindsight is 2020. You know, looking at the results from this hurricane and all the flooding that we experience about you know, so many things that could have been done differently with uh, the way in terms of the things that the city could have done with roadways, with flood plain, flood plains, with creating retention ponds in areas that could have required builders to build higher. That's something that we've already begun seeing over the last few years, um, not just in terms of standard elevations, like we've got standard elevations we have to meet, which may be six inches to an, a foot higher, but there's literally areas of Houston now where they've begun lifting homes four, five, six feet up in the air, the air. And that's going to become a really big thing now, thanks to hindsight, after seeing what has happened. You know, whether or not you have flood insurance, you know, and me as an, as an investor, I had multiple properties that were that were damaged and affected by the floods without flood insurance. And, and so I'm not going to get into why I will continue to invest without flood insurance. That's another topic for another day because it makes financial sense for me as the bottom line and, and investors I know that are doing a substantial amount of real estate. They don't have flood insurance. But for homeowners, there were so many homeowners in the Houston area that were impacted by the floods. because They weren't in a flood zone, so they didn't have flood insurance. And so... There, there's just a lot of, you know, really a lot of really sad, depressing, devastating types uh, of things that ha- that have happened because of this storm, right? And but what happened, you know, it it is what it is. And at the time of this recording, we're about a month removed from from the storms and from the flooding and what has happened. And so really, we, we only have a couple of choices, right? Like we can, as people and as a, collectively as a city, and, and you know, more, you know, I'm more focused on, 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 on for, for investors, for entrepreneurs, right? So we, we, we have a choice to, to sit and stew and bitch and moan and cry about what has happened, or we have the opportunity or we can look back, people are looking back, shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know, I should have had flood insurance, the city should have done this, blah, 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 you know, victim stuff. And, and it's hard for me to use the word victim because I understand that people suffered some substantial losses. There, there were people who lost their lives or people that lost their belongings, and I get it, and it is hard that doesn't remove the fact that they still have the opportunity and the choice to begin moving forward with their life. You know, um, I don't know if y'all saw the stuff that was happening on the news with, with, uh, with Lakewood Church and Joel Osteen, how people wanted to, uh, they opened up like the Houston Convention Center, they didn't open up uh, Lakewood Church because until the, the floods began to recede because those who 
saw some other pictures that I did. I know some people. I attend Lakewood um, quite frequently. Um, there was flooding where like it was up to the brink where it was about to fill uh, the 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 church essentially. And people, so a lot of people don't know this. Before, when the Rockets used to play there, it flooded. Like that building f- actually flooded. But whatever, good choice, bad choice. You know, I don't know all the details. I know the thing was about to flood, and I saw video and pictures of it. But there were all these people that were hung up on Joel Osteen not opening the church. And then you hear people getting hung up about, you know, City of Houston should have done this, and they should have been informed that they should have had in flood insurance, and all this kind of stuff. All this kind of stuff. But my friends, we can do that for the rest of our life with just about any situation. We can look back in our hindsight and and whine and cry about things. Or we can look forward and so immediately after the flooding um, the, the rains began to slow down on Monday although it was massive destruction at that point in time um, really on Tuesday and this this all started back on the previous Friday right and so four or five days and um, this whole time I'm starting to see opportunities like man there's so many opportunities with this so very not not ideal situation but there were yes as an entrepreneur there are so many opportunities to prosper in our market right now it is insane the amount of deals that we've been doing and the business that we've been closing and the houses that we've been buying since the floods have occurred and that's great and that's awesome guess what if I had, if I could pick, I would say no floods, no thank you. I don't need this business. I would have preferred to not have the flooding and what the chaos it's caused and the and the destruction. But I also saw opportunities to help and serve. There were so many teaching examples for my children. There was even opportunities for my wife and I to get together and and get her a lot of stuff out of our homes. Like we immediately, like when we're locked up in our home or trapped up in our home, saw the the flooding. Like we're, we're getting out trash bags. We were um, putting bags and bags and bags of clothing to give away and toys to give away, cleaned out our pantry and food that we had, you know, just like old canned goods and just cl- like gave us an opportunity to clean house. Um, a few days later, um, I took my son and my nephew. Uh, we went along with another church to go do, you know, mu- they call it muck outs. So like just like help people rip out sheetrock and flooring and, countertops and whatever they need help with to just demo these houses so it was a great opportunity um you know to experience some things with my children and give them opportunities just to learn from this and see you know what 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 you know happens like this is life this is just what happens but there's immediately opportunity there right so you know the most important thing in life and in business is whenever we have setbacks, whenever there's times of, of destruction, when there's times of, you know, natural disasters or just internal disasters, right? Like meltdowns in relationships and businesses and deals, you know, the quicker that we can extract the lesson, like what happened, right? And apply that lesson, whatever it is that you learn, extract it and apply it to the here and now and use it moving forward, we will be so much better prepared uh, whenever that next, you know, Hurricane Harvey hits in your life or in your business. And then when we have time to reflect in the future, you may just be more, experience more satisfaction because you did the work. You prepared yourself to the best that you could, right? And that's all that we can do is move forward, not always with 2020, but just in our best efforts right here and right now, roll up our sleeves and do the work, you'll find out that whenever these experiences come, that there's going to be opportunities in them. And the more time you spend in hindsight, looking back at 2020, shoulda, woulda, coulda, had I just known, guess what? You're never gonna know what the future holds. Roll up your sleeves each and every day do the work, go out and create results now, and you will be so much better prepared in the future 
when trouble arises. Well, that's all I got for you today, my friends. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I want to thank you for listening to the show. And until next time, I look forward to helping you create results in your life and in your business. You've been listening to The Brant Phillips Show. To listen to past shows, get updates on future shows, and find other resources or information about coaching, visit brantphillips.com.